Well, hello everyone. I hope some of you can join me for this pop-up live on Sunday afternoon. Let me get a few things taken care of over here. All right. I couldn't find the iPad. I don't know where it is. So you're not going to be seeing my face, which is fine. We're here really to talk about this wonderful bundle called Warm Welcome. I hope it's not getting too much glare. Let me pop on over to my page, do all the secret stuff that allows me to see your comments. There we go. So a little bit of a glare, but this is a very fun set. I was working with it just last night and I was like, yep, I need to go live with this. My adoring friends needs to see, my adorable friends, I was gonna say, my adoring friends. Yes, my adoring friends. No, all of you, Friends, customers, fellow demos need to see how fun the stamp set is. Because here's the deal, Lucille. This stamp set is going to be in our new, in our annual catalog for next year. So you will see it uh, June in 2023. However, we have one month to purchase it right now. And let's see here. Uh... I don't know how much it is. Let's say it's 45 or 50 bucks. I don't remember exactly, but I can get the price for you. But if you, it's going to be featured. It's one of only three bundles that is going to be featured during World Card Making Day. I have a couple of really fun events to tell you about for World Card Making Day. We will get into that in a minute, but World Card Making Day is October 1st. So once you see everybody working with this, and you're dying to get this set, it's not gonna be available on October 1st. It's only available through September 30th, okay? And I want you to get it because it's been really fun. I've only made two cards with it, but we're gonna make another card today. Here are the dies. Look at all the beautiful little details and you've got some tiny numbers here. And then you have all of these fun things. You even have hardware to cut out doorknobs, placards, and I'm going to show you about all of that. And then look at all these little pieces and parts. You can make the door open or you can have it just closed. We're going to make a closed door today. And then you have all of these fun sentiments and you have arms that can come in from either side or a little hand holding out flowers. Some cute shoes talking about, you could really use the cute shoes with, um, welcome little one so it's very it's very versatile you can do a lot of things with it right you could do it for birthdays you could use this for um someone that is just moving into your neighborhood moving into somebody who is having um little baby stuff like that jean says i thought it was coming out in the january mini you know what i checked on that that is not true it is in the new annual catalog, so you have to wait until June to get it or get it this month. So um, just a clarification there, and I did call Stampin' Up to make sure that I had that correct. So if you received my emails, you got a printable of this document today, as well as lots of other good information. This was put out by Stampin' Up, so the Stamping Zoo, me, I am having my own World Card Making Day event the night before. So it is free, it's via Zoom, and you can read all about that. I will put the links in this video when we finish up. But if you got my email today, everything is in there that you need to know about World Card Making Day. So that's a good reason to be signed up for my emails because then it's very easy. I just send you all the links you need, all that stuff. You're very welcome, Jean. I needed to get clarification too, because I've heard people saying both and I get it. We have a lot of details to keep track of. So, <laughs> um, as well as the warm welcome though, uh, Stampin' Up! is going to also be featuring cards made with the cottage rose. We already know we love it. The cottage wreaths, same. We already know we love it. And they are showing you 
all of the supplies that they're going to be using for their Stampin' Up! World Card Making event. That again is on Saturday, October 1st from 2 to 5 Mountain Time. My event is Friday night, September 30th, 6 to 8 Mountain Time. So um, the cool thing is if you buy any of these three bundles right now until the end of September, Stampin' Up! is going to give you a free package of iridescent pearl basic jewels. They're so pretty. You're going to love them. And of course, I mean, they're pearl basics. They go with tons of things. So um, I think those are six or seven dollars. You get those for free. Um, you do need to put it on your order, though. Please know that you need to put one of the bundle numbers in first to your order. And then you need to put in this number, 158987. And when you do that, it will say that you're a Descent Pearl Basic Jewels, but it will have a cost of zero. But you have to put the number in or you don't get them for free. So just a little clerical um, issue that I wanted to, to let you guys know about. Okay? So like I said, we are featuring today, I'm going to show you a card made with the warm welcome because I've been having fun with it. So I made a couple of cards last night. Here is, this was my first one. It's really easy to work with. I didn't look at a lot of samples and it was kind of funny because um, when I got this one done, then I, then I was like, oh, I should look on Pinterest and see what I see. And I saw like a couple of cards that had the same kind of format here. So I think it's intuitive, right? This is the outside of a house and the door is opening to show all these presents. And we have a cute little bow decorating the door, of course. And then I've used the 3D bricks and mortar embossing folder to make it look like a brick house. And then I couldn't resist. I had to put this little hand of flowers on the inside. They're so cute. Now, let me take a moment to say hi to everybody that's popping on. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm catching some of you at a great time. You know what? It's super smoky here in my uh, home of Boise, Idaho. Very smoky from forest fires. I don't know where all over around us and maybe far, maybe as far away as Canada. It just depends on the winds, right? So I would like to be outside today working in my yard because it's a really nice temperature, but it's not very nice. <laughs> oh, Sherry says you didn't have to add the jewels to your order. They added it for you. Good. Maybe that was an early thing. I don't know. Uh, but I, I was messing around with it. And then anyway, long story short, Sherry says they added them to her order. So that may have been a really earlier thing. A really early thing that they were able to fix. Hello, Andy. Thank you so much. Aren't these kind of fun? She put the silver on the base instead of the tips. Very interesting. Nails are an art to themselves. So Jean is on from North Dakota, of course, and she has shared already. Thank you so much, Jean. And you remind me that if the rest of you would be so kind, if you would please share this video, you never know which one of your social media friends would like to stamp with you or just to join us. So I really appreciate you sharing in advance. That does help the Stamping Zoo grow. We have seen it, right? Yay, we've seen it. It's growing. Sherry placed her order on Thursday. Good to know, Sherry. Hello, Cindy. Arlene, hi. Oh, Smokey and BC. Yeah. It's too bad. It's getting to be kind of a normal thing now. So I was able to run errands and let the dogs go with me in the CAR and they were very happy. <laughs> they love to ride shotgun. Well, they don't really ride shotgun. They ride in the back. Tango would like to ride shotgun, but I don't let them. So see, here are these little cute little numbers. Now look at this one, same format. That looks totally different. I was actually trying to mimic my best friend's house. So this is a little more green than her house, but you know, we're gonna let it go. This is soft succulent and she has so many cute things outside, but she has a cat named Crossy 
and it's cross it's named crossy because it's eyes are crossed but of course you can't see that here but I colored crossy in the same colors and then this is me see I'm a little bit darker than her she's a very fair redhead and so we are having uh some I don't know what hot apple cider with cinnamon schnapps in it or something at her house and then I use the sentiment knowing you feels like coming home is that sweet or what I love it so much and just um actually she just got her house painted inside and it wasn't as gray as she wanted it actually came off a little blue but i took the opportunity to grab some paper from the abigail rose designer series paper and so i gave her some fancy gray wallpaper <laughs> i don't know is she gonna like it i knew i couldn't use blue um because i don't want to rub it in and she tries to not think about it i think and um so anyway, in this card form, you can give people whatever kind of cool wallpaper you want. This paper is from the Celebrate Everything. That's a great package of paper to start with when you're looking because it has lots of cool patterns like this. This is definitely a pattern that I would use with wallpaper if I um, wanted to put up wallpaper. But that's the fun thing about it is you can make a card and have it be anything. Oh, I know, Jean. It's my evil plan. My evil plan. They're so, you can make them so personalized, right? Like this obviously even has her house number on it. And um, anyway, I just think it's kind of, um, it's a very personal type set. So with that, I have nothing planned, okay? I was running around here looking for the iPad. Can't find it still. Yeah, I did the find my iPad. I'm wondering, like, I don't even know. Don't even get me started on where I think it might be. I have no idea. Now, I know I had it yesterday, but I don't know. Maybe I was sleepwalking and took it outside. God, I hope not. <laughs> okay, so I did have the plan of I wanted to use this die cut to show you that the door doesn't always have to be open, okay? You can do like, you can present the outside of the house. And I think that's going to be really fun. I'm going to grab some foils because our door is going to be very nice. And so we are going to want some, let's do brushed metallics. Ooh, so fun. Let me grab that. And in the meantime, why don't you all tell me what's going on with you this Sunday? So I've been doing Sunday things. And for me, that involves getting ready for the week, <laughs> putting gas in the car, going to Albertsons and getting all the groceries and invariably forgetting one or two things, picking up medications, but then saving time for crafting. Oh, and I did a little bit of house cleaning. I am so like, lucky beyond belief to have a lady that comes to my house every other week she puts it all back in order but you know this is the off week and so I don't like to live in squalor so I do spend a little time um putting things back together okay does anybody have an idea for what you would like the card base to be do you want me to use a neutral and make this like or do you want me to make it some wild color? You tell me. Andy says you've been researching the clean mama routine. Keyword researching. <laughs> I've not heard this. It sounds like maybe it's a list of rotating, rotating things that you do or something. We will have to look at it. I will research it, but as I'm not a mama, I probably won't put it into play. So I don't want to be held responsible for actually doing it. Sherry's been pulling weeds. Oh, Sherry, it's break time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I've taken a smoking gene. I would do so many. I'd poke my own eye out before that because, well, I mean, it's just like totally foreign to me. I do come from a family of smoking grandparents, but that's where it stopped. Thank goodness. I don't need it, you know, I don't need any bad habits, any more bad habits. And um, that sounds like a tough one once you get started on it. Okay, so if we're going to use one of the metallics for um, the hardware, which is not a huge, 
a huge piece of the picture here. What colors would you like me to bring in for the outside? And the actual, the outside of the house can be a different color than the door, right? Because, I mean, mine is. I have basically a greenhouse with a red door. Now, that's not, it's not like Christmas colors, but um, it definitely stands out. So how about, let's see here, maybe not a pink door, that might be a little much. A red door is good luck in Feng Shui, right? So let's take a look at Sweet Sorbet. Cause I think that might be kind of, let's see, or you know what? Let's do Cherry Cobbler. I'm feeling Cherry Cobbler, it's very rich. So let's use cherry cobbler for the door. And then that is going to let us really have like, what I would like is a really rich brown. I'm not always a brown person, but I think it would be a really pretty house. So now I'm gonna let you choose. I'm gonna give you some choices. Hello, Roz. Okay, so we're gonna use cherry cobbler. I don't know why I have three sheets. We're only cutting out a door. Um, we're gonna use this for the door. Okay, and then one of the metals on the door. Would you like your house to be that color, which is crumb cake, soft suede, or let me grab a gray. Cindy just said gray, which is a totally great idea. Here's Sahara sand. I love Sahara sand. In fact, I might actually paint my house this color because it's the perfect mix of gray and brown. Ooh. And then, I don't think Smoky Slate because Smoky Slate is definitely got some blue in it and I don't want to introduce that. And then here's your other one, basic gray. Gray granite or smoky slate. Hmm, you guys wanna to lean towards the gray. Let me take those away. Okay, now what do you like? totally confused now. Okay. Which do you like? Basic gray or gray granite? So a little darker or a little lighter? We'll use Sahara sand some other day. Hello, Kathy Walton. You've been making cards to send to your granddaughter who's at the U of Iowa. <gasps> nice. Oh, that's cute. I love that. She's going to love that. How exciting. I think that's a great idea. Okay. And we are going to make our house timber. So it's going to use the timber embossing folder this time. We also, it's retired right now, but we have that, we had that one embossing folder that was like stucco. That would be great for that. She likes both of these. Okay, great. I think I'm gonna change, well, let me see. What does this look like? No, you know, I wanna change it to silver now. Why not? Stainless steel. This is gonna be semi-modern looking. So see, you can do anything you want with this. Let's see, where's my silver? You guys get to hear me rattling around back here. 
So I think the silver is actually on back order, but it's just, that's because it's great. And we, it was just offered in the celebration, but it has three different finishes, matte, brushed, and like plain, I think. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. That's more purple than I ever think it should be, but I don't know where the plain silver is. That's kind of fun though. Okay. It sounds like we're doing gray granite. Okay. Hello, Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen's home in Montana. Somebody sent me some pictures from, they were in Whitefish this weekend and man, there's a reason why everybody wants to go to Montana. It's so beautiful. It's pretty here too, but it looked a lot bluer. So that was, that was really good for them. Okay, let me see if I can find just some silver, silver, you know, plain old silver. Maybe not. did a big project with it not too long ago so we run out of things down here at the uh, Stampin' Zoo it happens which is super fun because then we buy different things <laughs> and we buy more of the same thing it's all fun okay this is our palette I'm loving it already and it's gonna be a lot of fun oh Kathy says her grandson you have some Kids, some grandkids in college, don't ya? The University of Montana in Missoula. You know what? That place is very close to my heart because I went to school at the University of Idaho, which is in Northern Idaho. And my one of my closest friends went to school in Missoula. And so I spent a lot of time at the U of M in Missoula. It was so fun. <laughs> and likewise, she would come over and see me, so. I know that road between those two places very well. It's really, it's something else. Again, stunning up in the mountains. Okay, so card base time. Let's get a card base. We're making this from start to finish. You know, sometimes I have things ready. I like, I prefer to have some things ready because I don't have stage fright, but I don't want to get stumped for an idea. Or sometimes if I haven't played with something for a while, then when I, usually after I make a card with you, then I think, oh, I should have done this or that. <laughs> Always wishing for a change. So, but we're gonna see what we can do with this. I think it's gonna end up looking gorgeous. It's so fun to um, just play, isn't it? Oh, let's see. I'm going to make the front out of a separate panel of the gray granite here. Hello, Corinne, and thank you so much for sharing. I'm so glad you're here with us today. I know you do lots of grandkids stuff. So um, what have you been doing this weekend? We're all talking about all of our big weekend, you know goings on. Okay, so this is actually brand new to me. The timber embossing folder. Okay, I'm going to put it in here and I want to, I want my timber to be straight. Actually, I want my timber to go across because this is how the siding is on my house. And so I feel like it should go across the panel. Okay. One moment, let me just run that through. Uh, there, I need this. Run that through the Stampin' Cut and Embossing Machine. It's the best. And then let's see how this ends up looking. It's so fun. You just kind of create on the fly.
Okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Let me pull the blinds a little bit. Probably a lot of shimmer and shine on there. Well, that's just gorgeous. That's going to definitely give us the feeling, right, that um, we've got a timber house. No, now we need this one. Just looks like a door with several pieces of molding on it. Now, I haven't even run this one through the die cutter yet, so again, I'll be excited to see it, just like you. First time. Gorge. Look at that combination. I'm in love with it. That is simply from just running this right through there. And it just kind of looks like a rectangle right now, but we're going to do some little magic on it. Hello, France. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. So let's do the hardware. Let's do a door knocker because we can. Let's do the bow. Um, that's it for now in the silver. So this is just a little piece of the plain finish of silver foil. You know, that other one that, that ends up looking kind of purple, I'm already thinking about doing a door in, um, or doing the, yeah, doing a door in Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss, and then doing the hardware with that silver finish that looks slightly purple. That would be like, I probably don't want my whole house painted purple, but I definitely would love a card like that. See, so it can be a little more like whimsical. You don't have to listen to the homeowners associations when you're making your card you can make it whatever color you want oh great your little guy figured out how to use a plastic whistle well that's got to be wonderful <laughs> he's given his lungs a workout look at this this is not so cute it's adorable that's kind of the cool thing about all of these little elements is they're adorable now look, here's the hardware. Love it. It actually probably goes this way. The deadbolt's on top, right? Okay, and then let's look at the, oh, fantasy. Door knocker. <laughs> so cool. Okay, so let's put these back. Or they have a way of running off kind of like the iPad did. I have no excuses. I'm sure the iPad's like in here. That's the sad thing. But um, we may find it during, during this crafty time. You never know. I have projects going on. Not unusual. Many projects. So it could very well be right to my left. I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so let's kind of dry fit this and see um, what we've got going on. Oh, so cute. Okay, so one thing I am gonna do is I probably will end up bringing back some of this so that it doesn't look like it's just floating that's like a Stranger Things kind of door. <laughs> if see, you can even make a Stranger Things card. But I don't really want it just floating in the nothingness. So I'm going to easily ground it by just taking away the embossing, just like I did on these cards, right? So when the brick was, the brick piece goes from top to bottom of this card, and then I just brought in a little strip. It's about an inch and a quarter wide and then it runs across the whole card that's simply all i did and then i put the door i put it underneath the door so that it grounds it 
right? So it's just not a door hanging on a brick wall. So we'll probably do the same thing for this one. Um, now let's see. Oh yeah, I said this was the deadbolt. See, now I'm like, which side should this be on? There, I think it should be there. And then we can offset it with this decorative metal piece. Right, you can use this in a number of different ways, but I think it's kind of cool up in the corner. And then um, <clears throat> this door knocker. Well, maybe the heart's gonna be too much. I think the heart might be too much. Look at that. Very stately, very gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna, whoops, just popped right out there at me. Thank you, France. It's very kind of you, I appreciate that. I have been posting like there was no tomorrow the last few days, haven't I? Um, I was involved in an Insta hop. I was so happy to be asked to do that. And our theme was um, neutral. <laughs> Sorry, as I said, lots going on. Neutral with a splash of color. And so I think you've seen the post for that, but I used the lights aglow which happened to be the same stamp set that I used on the black envelope challenge when I was working with Suzanne Nets um, on Thursday night, which was so fun. She's just fun. So you can't help but have fun yourself when you're hanging out with Suzanne and crafting. So I hope a lot of you caught that. And if you did not, you know what? It's on replay. We put it on a replay for you. So uh, that is something that we are going to do um, monthly. So one, one Thursday a month, uh, one of my lives will be spent with Suzanne. And we are splitting it so that one month it's on my page and one month it's on her page. Now it's also on her YouTube channel because she has 15,000 subscribers. Good on you, Suzanne. So um, if you would like it to be on my Facebook page or my YouTube page as well, I need to get up to a thousand subscribers. And right now I have, I think 497. <laughs> okay, so if you haven't already, I know that most of you have, but if you haven't already, please uh, pop on over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel. And um, that'll just help me bring more content over to you. I am gonna start doing some things over there, shorter videos. But of course, even shorter videos take time. So I haven't begun them yet, but I am going to um, start doing that. Okay, already it's beautiful, yes? And then of course, now I always think about this after I've already made one, but um, for these little elements, you know, it would probably be better if you use the adhesive sheet on the back of the foil, but I did not. So, Corinne, yeah, and in case you, for, in case you missed the beginning of this, you or anyone else, if you want this bundle, you need to get it before September 30th or, I don't know, while supplies last. I guess they could run out. Um, gosh, that's definitely a possibility. Anyway, you, it's only going to be available to you then or else you need to wait to get it in the next annual catalog, which goes live many months from now. So if you think it's going to be something fun that you want to play with, you've got to get it. It's just fun. What can I say? So there's a little line of molding there and I'm just going to line that up. Okay. So all of a sudden we're like, just these rectangles are turning into a door. This is really quite fun. 
this is someone's million dollar set too. Wouldn't that be fun to have your million dollar stamp set featured for World Card Making Day? Her name is Jenny Polly. I am not familiar with Jenny. She might be in another country. If one of you knows, please tell me. Let's see, I think we should have this. Can't be up at the top or else you'd have to be like, you know, seven feet tall. I'll put this down here so even Roz can reach it, okay? Oh, it's so cute. I'm in love with it. Yes, ooh. And then, um, oh, I was gonna stamp some things around it, but too late, next time. I was gonna stamp the word welcome around it before I embossed. Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna have to make another card. Okay, and then let's start like putting some elements in here. Some some other elements. I love the heart, as you can see. Now this is totally my friend. Um, she has all sorts of cute things out in front of her house. So cute. That's, oh, we could do this. I really like my door is always open for you. I might not be able to put this on here or it might just be that we put it inside. I think we should put it inside. So that's one thing that we can get ready for. Oops, okay. And kind of put the basket or the hand of flowers away right now, but it's so adorable. You can put that on the inside of any card, right? These are photopolymer, so they're really easy to um, stamp precisely. You get everything placed right where you want it. And of course you can find other pieces and parts in other stamp sets that you can add. I'm sure you can find a little dog if you want a dog instead. And um, you know, like I said, you can personalize it. So it's pretty fun that way. Um, I really like open house, open heart, open mind. That's really cute. And it's all on one stamp, which is nice. You can cut it apart, but I don't think we're gonna use that. We'll probably, we could stamp some Christmas presents right beside it we want it and then we could offset it with some hearts because you know I'm kind of in love with those with the heart dies Ooh. and then instead of um, door numbers or house numbers you could put someone's birthday on it <clears throat> If you wanted to with the little numbers, that would be fun. Or 1225, something like that for a Christmas card. That would be kind of fun. Yeah, and I could put welcome on the front. Yes, that's true. All right, let's do this and then let's see if we want welcome up here. We might. Uh, where is that? It would definitely, it would be very nice. And there are a couple of, obviously it is spaced so it's exactly the width of the door. That's fun. And then, um, let's see if this one's long enough. It might not be. Not really, but that's okay. We could just put it on a little scrap. Okay. This is kind of our idea. Fun, right? So I just play with the pieces and parts, the stamps and the dies, until I kind of have an idea. Doesn't mean we're gonna stick to it, but we'll start out with that. And then stamping the um, presents gives us an opportunity to color. Yay, color. I will just color them with the blends. So I think I'm going to use basic gray to stamp in. Now, when you are using blends, you wanna make sure that you are using, oops, that you are using 
any of our water based inks. So that includes Stampin' Up, <laughs> Stampin' Up, yes. That includes any of these classic Stampin' Pads or Memento, okay? So basically just stay away from Stays On. That is not good. That's not a good mixture. Otherwise, you can do what you want. Um, let's see, let's have, Let's have a third accent color. So I'm gonna get out my Cherry Cobbler Blends. Yes. And then I want a third color and that's gonna be for the hearts and for some of these packages. So if you have any questions. Oh gosh, hi Kathy and hello Debbie. Very nice to see you ladies. Thank you for sharing. Decided to take a break from your baseball. I think that's baseball. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I was the choice. Thank you. I appreciate that. As you can tell, I'm well versed in the sports. Not. Hmm. You know, I'm always trying to work in purple. I don't know about red and purple. Let's choose a Maybe a green. Which one's this? No, that's too light. How about Rich Razzleberry? Let's do Rich Razzleberry. Okay. So, it's dark like our cherry cobbler. And then Hello, Carol. Very nice to see you. Thank you for joining. And what are you doing with your Sunday? We're talking about Sunday stuff. I'm sure a lot of you go to church or do family stuff. That seems to be a popular Sunday thing as well. For me, it's errands, taking care of doggies, stuff like that. Okay, well, I should use the bolder side. It's just a square. I've got to color a little bit. You know I love it. Okay, so while we're sitting here chatting, I do want to mention to you, um, of course, we are talking about World Card Making Day on October 1st and the Stampin' Ups pre-function event on September 30th. We are also talking about lots of classes that I have in the month of September, or should I call it Stamp-tember. Um, and these are all still available for registration. Um, I have my In Color Club on Tuesday night. That's something that's not open for registration. If you've already signed up for that though, just a heads up. I'm going live over there with the card class on Tuesday night. Um, the I have the Wonderful World online class that is going to feature um, last month's celebration duo of the Wonderful World stamp set and the Wonderful World designer series paper. So you might want to get in on that prices for that are as low as $15 um, plus if you didn't get the opportunity to earn that stamp set and designer series paper during celebration I have a few of them for sale so you can take a look at that these are um, all posted on this very page I also have an apples or pigs class. <laughs> they kind of go together, right? So we are celebrating the perfect pairings that are available only during this month. And so for that class, you choose whether you'd like to work with the Apple Harvest bundle of products or the This Birthday Piggy. And I create cards for you to make yourself. If you want to purchase the class only, which will involve some supplies, 
um, the cost is $25 plus $10 shipping if you need that. And you can also come to that class live at my house. Uh, and the other option is you can do online only, again, for only $15, okay? And then um, finally, if you purchase the bundle from me, you get the class for free, plus the shipping. So there are a lot of options, lots of fun ways you can join in in the Stamping Zoo Fun and really learn how to use all of these beautiful supplies we have. We're so lucky. We have so many fun supplies, right? So let's learn how to use them and let's create together and have some fun with them. So I welcome you to um, join in any of those. I look forward to it. Several of you have already signed up for them, but there's room for more. There's room for more. I think my um, in-person, yeah, my in-person in classes are still, uh, they both have people in them, but they're still available. So just know that that's an option. And then if you're not close enough, then it's okay. We'll do the next best thing. We will get together online. Okay, let me grab my hearts. I'm going to do a uh, Rich Razzleberry heart. This guy. And then there's little hearts. So I think I'm going to do the little hearts in the silver. Just for fun. Well, you've got the Vikings football starting today, but you prefer your baseball. Okay. Hello, Kathy. Thank you for popping on. Nice to see you. Yes. One of my plates went flying. I'm sure you heard that earlier. So let me grab another one. Thank goodness I have extras. <laughs> oh, it's a little wild in here. That's okay. All right, so these tiny hearts are super cute to have. So again, they're little, don't lose the die. Okay. All right, so here's our first heart. Ooh, very pretty. See, I worked in my purple after all, didn't I? Then I need, there's a die cut for the gifts. Oops. So I need that. Plus I need this very tiny heart. One more heart. And this guy. Okay, and then definitely put your heart neg heart die back. That's one thing that'll end up lost for sure. Then we need these beautiful gifts. See, they're kind of cute. I like their cherry cobbler and rich raspberry combo actually. Okay, hope I got that set right. so pretty and then there's our gifts aren't they cute all right this is looks like a very welcoming house we probably will still have the welcome I'm glad I think it was Jean that mentioned that I'm glad you mentioned that that was a good idea okay little heart on the wall I do believe I'm gonna need my tweezers for these oh for these little hearts little bit of glue again adhesive sheet yes when I make it again I'm sure I'll remember that 
<laughs> Actually, I might have them kind of randomly up here. Okay. And these tweezers, if you are wondering, they are from our fantastic embossing essentials kit. You get a great tray, the embossing buddy anti-static powder, and a paintbrush to wipe away any errant powder, as well as these fantastic reverse tweezers. So when they are at rest, they're held together. So you pull them apart, but then you don't have to hold them together all the time. That way you can, um, you can pay attention to what you're working on instead of paying attention to holding the tweezers shut. Works very nice. And of course you use them for embossing as well. Okay, so I will sit these presents right next to the door. Oh, it's cute. Very cute. Okay. Now, let me cut a piece for the inside. I like to have a liner, like even if it's the same color, but I think we'll go ahead and use white. Um, no, I'm changing my mind. We're gonna use Rich Razzleberry. It's a fun little pop. Is this card purple or red? Which is it? <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Elizabeth. Very nice to see you. I hope you're having a great Sunday. Sunday's all about just kind of hanging out, isn't it? Well, maybe. It is now that I got all my errands ran. <laughs> and I made myself get up early enough that there weren't... Um, I definitely hit the store before churches got out and stuff like that. So my door is always open for you. Okay, I need to pull this near me to make sure it's straight ish. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that nice? A nice vertical sentiment. I love it. Very sweet, very kind. And let's go ahead and put this inside. Of course you could die cut more of these elements and put them inside. Stamp, um, stamp the flowers like I did or whatever. It's your card. You can shop for this. Um, if you're in the United States, you can shop with me at thestampingzoo.com. It's as simple as that. And then you can just start searching or you can click on the link for World Card Making Day or you can just type in warm welcome and you will find the stamp set and bundle and away you go. And remember, there are, uh, there are two more, right? Abigail Rose and Cottage Rose. No, Cottage Rose and Cottage Reefs. Just remember Cottage Rose, Cottage Reefs, and Warm Welcome. Any of those, purchase now through the end of September, and you'll get a free package of Iridescent Pearl Basic Jewels, which are beautiful. You can cut, it is. Thanks, Kathy. A nice change from white. In fact, if you've been with me for a while, you know I try to not use white on the inside. I kind of try to avoid it when I can, just because I don't like seeing just white on the inside. We have 50 colors. White is fantastic. Those other two cards had white on the inside of them, so I'm not always against it. I just try to not make it just my first my first choice. Okay, finally, let's put this welcome up here. I think it does need it, don't you? 
and um, uh, let's bring some more cherry cobbler into this. Now, this we might have on white. I don't know. You can either do it on white or on gray. Let's do it on both and then we'll decide. Elizabeth said they had a church picnic. That sounds nice. Sounds very nice. I'm not the best at trimming out sentiments once I've stamped them, but we're gonna give it a try. I need to pull this close, sorry. You'll either see my hat or you won't see me stamping. I love that. Oh, I did it in purple. I love that font. It's so fun. I was stuck on the rich razzleberry. That's okay. Easy to fix. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate the feedback. I like to hear when you guys like things. You know that. I don't need the praise, but it's good to know you're not just sleeping. Oh, yes. I like that. I like them both, but... I think it looks good on the gray, but it's really gonna pop on the white. So let's see what it looks like on this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's raining. I wish we were having some rain. <laughs> you get to send your rain on over this way. It'll get rid of some of our fire smoke. Okay, so that's how it's going to look if we trim it out with the gray, okay? And this is how it's going to look if we trim it out with the white. Which do you prefer, gray or white? I'm gonna clean a couple stamps here. Give you a moment to put your comments in. I love seeing your comments. I love it when you get involved with making the card with me. It's like, you know, I'm here to do all the work. You just have to tell me what you prefer. Corinne says white, okay. Do, 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 do. I bet it was still really tasty, Elizabeth. <laughs> Probably just wasn't as nice as it could have been for the kids because kids like to, you know, run wild, get their energy out. There were some boys, little boys playing in the grocery store today and they were cracking me up. I could hear them screaming Yes, screaming from the other side of the store. And they weren't crying. I could tell they were playing. And then when I got over to, I guess we finally like crossed paths, I saw that they were shopping with dad. <laughs> and oh my gosh. And then at the end, when they checked out before me, they were super quiet. And um, when I went past them, he had gotten them some gum. <laughs> Oh my God. And I go, aha, dad got the gum. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to let him eat it in the car. Oh my gosh. I don't know. They were kind of little. Doesn't gum kind of strike fear in the hearts of most parents? <laughs> I kind of think it does. Okay. Here's the bow. I still want to look at it. Uh Oh, we have gray, white, gray, white, gray. Okay. Gray it is, you broke the tie. But it's good to know that all of them would work. Now here's the bow after all of that. I think we may as well put it on. It gives a little something over here. Why not? Now this thing is definitely tiny and should have been on the adhesive sheet, but I like a challenge. Yeah, let me use my ultra fine glue pen. And hello, Teresa, by the way, very nice to see you. Nice to have you here. Okay. Okay, here goes Dr. Harden in for surgery. Sometimes, even though you're just putting a little bit of glue on, it feels like you get a little too much. So what I like to do is I like to take a little scrap of cardstock 
and wipe it off. Almost like I'm buttering toast. I don't know. If I were buttering toast with cardstock, that's what it would look like. Okay, now I don't know if it was meant to do this or not, but it doesn't cut completely straight. You have to kind of hold this out just a tiny bit. You have to just hold it, or you can put a you can put a block on it. Okay, while it's drying. It's so cute though. Don't you want a real element like that for your actual door now? I do. I think it's really cute. Is it meant to be that way? I don't know, but that's how I interpreted it. Okay. Don't forget about our fine tip glue pen. It's good to have around. I like it. Some of you don't. Some of you love it. Some of you hate it. I love it. I'm in the love camp. All right. Let me trim out our welcome. First, let me double check and make sure that it's not going to fit on this. You know what? I think I want to. I want to put it on some sort of a die. Eek. No, that's not going to work. Let me check out the rectangles. Rectangles. Because you know you can make these any length you want. Ooh, I'm cutting it close there, but I think we can do this. Let's, I'm feeling, I'm feeling gutsy. Okay, so actually I'm using this other tape right now and I really like it. Post-it tape, who knew, right? I've had it in my drawer forever. Um, I really like the tackiness of it for these die cuts. I feel like it's kind of perfect. So I am going to run this through a couple of times, right? First, I'm gonna run it through. I'll just show you. This is something you just have to see because every time I do it, at least one person says, oh my gosh, I didn't know we could do that. So we need to show. All right, so um, we're gonna put this in here. All right, see where it is? And I'm just gonna run it through partially going to run it through that way and then going to run it out. Okay. And then what you're left with, once you, you can pull this off and then you have a partial die cut, right? And so then you're going to take this one and place it about the same amount. Um, so you have the same amount of margin. And then the cool thing about these dies, the rectangular dies, is that the stitching, like the die will fit right back in them. So you'll know exactly when you're on top of the place you just die cut. And then you need to turn it around this way and run it through. Let's see if I made it. Let's see. Let's just check it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, but it did happen to be perfect. Okay, so you can do that with with any shape dies like this, right? You can do a partial die cut from anything. So it was way too long. We just took it and partially cut it from the left and the right. And then you get something that's perfectly centered or perfectly sized for whatever sentiment you want. You can also do it for words that are larger or longer. It's just a little more finicky. But you get um, you get the point. Oh, yes, Corinne, that is a good idea. However, I'm not going to put it on white because um, I don't want to have to cut that out again. How about if we kind of split the difference and I put it up on dimensionals? Like it's hanging on a hook. It's because there's no other dimension on this. So the welcome sentiment will really pop out. And then, gosh, I think I need some silver, um, like clear rhinestones or something. I need some, I need some embellishments on those hearts and those gifts. Don't you think? <laughs> I think so. 
Okay. So then there's this, our welcome sign. So much easier to hang this than like in real life. When you have to get up and down off the way, it's just crooked. And you go, oh, fine. Oh, things are flying around. I'll just live with it. Okay. So you could definitely um, use lots of different embellishments. You could use those pearls that you end up getting for free. You can use the classic matte dots because we have some in gray. And those are one of the few embellishments I feel like that we have in gray. But I'm just kind of thinking like basic rhinestones because they play off of the silver so well. All right, let's decorate this package, these um, packages, because they're like beautiful. Actually, maybe I'll put these down here. To give the bottom a little bit of zhuzh. Hmm, very cute. We actually could also put them, okay, this might be a lot of razzle on the front door. I don't know. I mean, if you can't do it on a card, then where? That, we're gonna leave it. That's good stuff right there. So here's a front door that you might not see in real life, but you know what? I think it turned out to be a really cool card. And welcome. My door is always open for you. That is a great card. I can't wait to send this. Okay, everyone. So there's just three ideas for you right off the bat about how to use this exclusive limited time only for now. Warm welcome, stamp set and bundle. I would love for you to be my customer. Let me uh, earn your business. Okay. By giving you excellent customer service, just, uh, you can message me. You can private message me. You can text me. You can even call me on the phone. 208-830-6328. Or you can just jet on over to the stampingzoo.com. You can hit the shop now tab. You can see some recent um, product or no, not products, but creations. And I have shopping lists for you over there. And you can even join my team over there. So I'd love to talk with you about this bundle or any questions you have, okay? Please make sure to sign up for um, my World Card Making Day event on September 30th. The event itself is free. You don't have to purchase anything to be involved in it, but you do need to register and get the Zoom link. So again, thank you so much, everybody. I can't wait to see what you create. Here, let's move right here. I can't wait to see what you create with um, this warm welcome bundle. All right, everybody, have a great afternoon.